Lately, there's been a lot of talk about George W. Bush and his administration. But if you take a closer look at some of the people talking about him, you'll find some interesting details. In a post-9-11 world, our country constantly encounters threats, but some of these threats come from within our very own government. I hate America. Let's kill the young. Among the greatest defenders is John Kerry, a Democratic senator from Massachusetts. You may remember John Kerry from the 2004 presidential elections where he not only made a fool of himself, but a mockery of the democratic electoral system that we use to determine our leaders. Now, I believe we should surrender to the terrorists. Yeah, fuck America! Uh, the uh, so I believe all senators should be paying cocaine and marijuana. Hell yeah, you rock! But despite his foolishness, John Kerry's failed attempts to destroy a far superior man have been backed by such people as John Murtha, Howard Dean, and that bitch Hillary Clinton. And what do these Democrats provide? It's a seldom remember fact that Democrats supported slavery. Your name is Toby. Gunda Kinte. And at a point, their official motto was fuck all Jews. So what does this racist, anti-Semitic party have to do? They fill their time by listing complaints with the big man. And having drug-infused orgies with 10-year-old Filipino boys. <laughs> 